G'day everyone, just before this video starts I want to say a few things I've changed and also I'm a little bit sick so, so sorry if I sound a bit nasally. So when Prehistoric Fauna updates, um, there's a few mods that I've been using that won't work with the uh, new versions and some of them were Zua. I was using the Zua mesh or wire fence which I think looked really nice and the closest mod that I could find that was close to that were these andesite mesh wrenches from the uh, the create deco mod another mod that isn't updated is the chisel mod so i'm just using regular you guys are loud so i'm just using regular terracotta here instead of this trodden bricks terracotta i really like the trodden bricks terracotta but there's not really any other that i could find that i like as much as this one so i just use normal terracotta i replaced these park benches with these ones which i think are really nice and last main things i changed were the path because i was using the wire blocks for these but now i'm using a mod called unearth and this is just limestone and some polished conglomerate for the edges although that's most of the blocks i needed to change and i'm still happy with most of the park all right Let's start the speed build. All right, in this video, I'm building a sitter paddy enclosure. I'm probably gonna say the name wrong a few times in this video. Um, and I've actually filmed it with a path in the replay mod. So rather than filming a clip, then cutting it and then moving to the next spot and then filming again, uh, I've all just put it on one path. It's in one recording. And I think it looks a lot nicer, but it does mean I've got to do the whole build in one session, which is why I did a little bit of procrastination. That's why this video took uh, a bit longer for me to st uh, start work on. I haven't done a replay recording like this in quite a while, so so some parts are going to be a bit like fast and slow. I, I haven't got everything right yet, but I think it's fine for this video. In my last video of this series i built a stegosaurus enclosure and someone asked me if i could build a big theropod enclosure i wasn't sure if they meant like a big enclosure or a big theropod that needs a big enclosure so um this isn't the video where i'm building the big theropod enclosure this is just like a small one but the next one will be big the next one i'm planning on releasing as soon as i notice that i've hit 2000 subscribers I'll probably, um, I might be asleep when it happens or I could be working, uh, my job. Uh, but as soon as I notice I hit 2000 subscribers, I'll release the big theropod enclosure, which will be the T-Rex video. I haven't, I, I surprisingly haven't built a T-Rex enclosure on my channel before. People have requested it. I've built a Spinosaurus enclosure and that, that got a lot of views, but... <laughs> I don't recommend going back and watching that Spinosaurus enclosure. It was it was around when I just started like sp uh, speaking on my channel. I used to only do text on screen, um, and I'm really boring and uh, like slow talking. <laughs> and it was yeah, they're not good videos like a few years ago. All right, I'll talk a bit about my ideas for this enclosure and like how how I wanted it to look. Um, so. The, the idea for this one was that I wanted it to be a transition from a desert biome to a forest biome. So like obviously to the, I think it's the right, um, there's the forest and then on the left it's the desert. So in future videos I'll eventually build a desert and a forest on both sides and this is the just the in between how those two enclosures transition. I think in my in my in my head that vision is a cool vision on how the two enclosures look with this one in between um and here i've added like a shelter area where they can sleep and not be viewed by the public i think it's cool how it's under the path i i don't i didn't really put too much detail into it as no one will really see it it's more of just a, a facility for the sitter patties themselves Anyway, the next thing I do is I add in the walls, and this is the same wall design I've used in a few of the other builds in this world. Um, I just, I just think it's good old reliable. Like, what if it's not uh, broke? Don't fix it. <laughs> That's how the saying goes, right? <laughs> um, then after the wall, I work on one of the viewing areas. Obviously, there's the viewing area from the path, 
but I thought that it would be cool to have a sheltered viewing area that you can also view the forest enclosure that will be on the left, no, on the right. Um, uh, yeah, so you can view both enclosures from this one viewing area, which I think is sweet. And yeah, I, I pretty much just use the same block palette as um, the other houses I've built, or not houses, but the other structures I've built in this world. Um, I don't really know what the wood is called, but I used a bit of birch, which is different. <laughs> I think it's cool. Um, but yeah, it's a pretty nice viewing area. Actually, no, I take that back. I'm, I think I'm actually terrible at building, like, like, structure, house, house looking buildings or, like, man-made stuff. Like, the stuff I'm usually am good at is, like, terrain and, like, making things look natural. But when it comes to, like, these types of buildings, I just, I just don't know what to do. I'm just not very good. I don't know what blocks to use. It's something I sort of struggle with and need to get better with. Um... But I think it works for now, especially since the whole point of the video isn't the viewing area. It's mainly just like the enclosure that I'm building. Um, but yeah, there's definitely something I want to improve on in Minecraft. It's definitely building those types of builds. Anyway, as you can see, I've started work on the foliage. Like I've put some um, stuff by the river. I've put some other plants around in the deserty area. I try and keep the foliage matching the sort of biome it's in so when it transitions to the forest area there's more like green luscious plants and in the desert area I added a bunch of plants that are more suited towards a dry environment where there isn't as much rain. We're approaching the end of the time lapse now so um, I want to say a few things. Um, I'm sorry for a few like big to medium gaps between uploads. I did actually go to Fiji, that's why there hasn't been a video in over a week, almost two weeks maybe. Um, and uh, before that, I was so unbelievably busy in April. I just didn't have time to record anything. The one video that did come out at the end of April was already recorded and done everything. I was just waiting on a friend to make some music for the start of the video which was the interviewing mobs which you should totally watch it was so fun making and it's the type of video i love making i will say that i did have an absolute blast in fiji i had such a good time um the people there are so lovely i drank kava and yeah if you haven't been to fiji and want to go to a tropical country go to fiji it's so good the people are so much better than any like western country it's such a beautiful place. Um, yeah, but we're pretty much at the end of the time lapse now. So I'll see you at the tour with shaders on as well. <laughs> Are you ready for the tour? I know I am. Let's do it. All right. So as you walk past the Stego enclosure, you can now visit the Sitter Paddy enclosure. And I really like this building. I think it really looks good from like a straight on angle. I think that's really cool. And it'll look even better with this enclosure when it's finished. I don't know what's gonna be yet. Anyway, you can walk in here. It feels really cozy, especially with shaders on now. And yeah, this is the view you get. It isn't the biggest enclosure in the zoo. I wanted to do a small enclosure with more detail. And I, de I definitely feel like I achieved that. There's a sitter patty over there. Look how cool he is. We got another one down there. Anyway. I tried to do, like, I, this This might be a reference no one gets, but it's a pretty big game. I, I've noticed in Scorched Earth on Ark, there's, like, cotton plants, and they're all, like, uh, they're all purple flowers, just, you can find in the desert. So I thought that would be cool, because it's a sort of deserty plant I see all the time on Scorched Earth on Ark. Um, so yeah, I decided to add a bunch of purple flowers in the desert. And sort of in the forest area, we've got some red flowers. I think that's nice. Um, yeah, it's it's not the biggest enclosure, but I, I'm still really happy with it. I think it's really nice. Over here, eventually, it will be better and be more secure. And so guests can't walk in. But we've got this little area down here, which I'll eventually decorate as well. The zookeepers will be able to enter and give food and like replace the hay this wood is supposed to be the hay i think the hay bale 
is like too yellow i think the um i think the oak fits the straw like type color that i was going for a lot better anyway in here you can see it's really luscious you can see so much like different textures in the ground um yeah i'm happy with this enclosure i can't wait to see what you guys think of this but yeah this is definitely the one of the prettiest enclosures i've built in this zoo we've still got so many more enclosures to do like this is only like five different enclosures here there's there's the hera there's the herarasaurus there's the um calsoyasuchus <laughs> cute little guy the ceratosaurus the stego and now the sitapati Anyway, as I said at the start of the video, I'm so close to 2,000 subscribers. I'm only 10 subscribers away as of recording this video. So if this video gets me over 2,000, you will see the T-Rex enclosure. And even if I'm already at 2,000 subscribers by the time you see this video, still subscribe. It helps out a lot and I really appreciate it. Anyway, I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye everyone. Take care. Bye-bye. What?